Hi everyone, welcome to Saving the Past. I am GD and I am looking forward to doing this third and final part of this box of quarters. The box is now empty. So, we have $200 worth of quarters here in front of us and hopefully, since the last couple uh, of videos that I did on this only gave me some minor errors and some coins to add to my collection, but um, hopefully today we're going to find something a little bit more interesting. I have this one quarter here on the end here that um, does look a little bit like it could be silver, but I'm doubting it. Um, I do see one Duke Ellington here, District of Columbia, but I did check that already, and it's not a double die. But we're going to start opening up rolls and see what we can find. And what I'm probably going to do, as I did in the last couple, is I'm going to speed this up um, so that you're not sitting here through me opening up all these rolls. So let's get cracking. Okay, folks, this is the last roll of the box. We haven't found any silver so far that it looks like, so this is the last chance for that. <clears throat> and then I will start searching for anything interesting that are in the that was in the rolls. Well, <clears throat> it does not look like we found any silver. So, I am going to uh, shut off the video and I am going to go through these coins and look for any errors or varieties. I am still looking for a W mint mark, which I haven't found up till now. But I've heard a few other people in the area that have found them, so maybe uh, some are starting to filter their way into this area, and hopefully I'll find at least one of them in here to add to my collection, and pieces that I can add to my state and uh, territory and America the Beautiful collection. So, I will be back to you in a little while. Okay, folks, I'm back. Let's do a wrap-up. Um, this one here <laughs> obviously had a hard life. Um, that's pretty beat up. I did find a few things here that are going to be interesting. Um, I found a number of um, bicentennials. Again, I, I don't say bicentennials, but there are a couple of them in here that aren't in too bad a condition, so I may go through them, and if there's one in really good shape, I may keep it. Um, I found a few of the Wisconsins. I checked them to see if uh, they had the extra leaf, but they do not. So those are going to go back. I found some 65s and 66s here, uh, but I did check them for the double dies. None of them had double dies, so those will go back and the 66s. I did find some 82s and 83s. I will be saving these, uh, even though they're not in great condition. There actually was a couple in here that weren't too bad, but because these um, are 
ones that people look for, I will hold on to those. I found a number of uh, state quarters that were in pretty good condition, so I'm going to be checking those to see if any of them are ones that I need for my uh, state quarters. Actually, I think there were a couple territories in there as well. I did find a number of 2009s, 2010s, 2011s, and 2012s. Those I'll definitely be saving. Um, in the 2009s, I did find three of them for the District of Columbia. I did check them to see if any of them were the double dies. They aren't, but this one here is in pretty nice condition, so I, um, I save all these anyway. But this one here, I'm going to check and see if I have it in my group that I've been saving in my folder. But I do have a few here that were a pretty special find that I want to... Uh, I got my microscope working again, so I'm going to put these under the microscope and show you what I did find. I'm very happy about these. But let me set up the microscope and I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I got the microscope set up. I want to show you a couple that I found here that I was really happy to find in this group. You know, the first uh, $330 or $430 that I did, $330 I did, really did not produce a lot except for a couple of minor errors. But I have been looking for these coins and hadn't found any up till now, but I finally did find a West Point. Actually, I found two West Points in this group, so I'm very happy about that. This one here's got a little ding along the edge here, and they do have a, a few minor scratches on them, but again, I've been looking for these since uh, the announcement that they were out, and I haven't found any up till now, so I'm very happy about that, and those will go into my collection. And this one kind of surprised me. I did find a number of um, Philadelphias in this group, which <laughs> this last $200 that I did was predominantly Philadelphias. So that kind of surprised me because out here in Colorado, we see Philadelphias once in a while, but not as many as I saw there. But this one here was um, kind of a nice surprise. I found a proof. Yes. This one here is a 2005 Kansas, and we've got an S mint mark there. So that one makes me happy, but let me go back to the West Points and show you which ones that I found. I think they were both the same. I think they were both lull. Yeah, that's a lull, and this one is also a lull. So both of these were the West Points, and again, I'm happy to uh, have found both of those. So, actually, I'm very happy with this hunt. I didn't find any silver, but I rarely expect to find silver in quarters these days. Uh, uh, it's been a long time since I have found any silver in the quarters, but uh, these three here make me happy for the hunt, and I did find a number of them that I was able to add to my State Quarter, Territories, and America the Beautiful collection. I still have a lot of holes in it. Uh, as I had mentioned in a previous video, I had stopped saving the uh, State Quarters way back, probably about a quarter or halfway through that. So I have a lot of holes in there to fill, and I will continue to keep on looking for them from time to time. But, um, you know, I did find a few good ones here that are going to be nice, like this one here is in really good condition. Um, so this is a nice one that I'm... So, as I say, this was uh, a pretty fruitful hunt for me. I'm, I'm happy that I went through these. And I hope you enjoyed the video as well. If you did, please hit that like button down there. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you. I really do appreciate the support. And if you click that little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be able to keep track of my future videos. I have uh, 
probably the next thing I'm going to do is I have a couple hundred dollars worth of one dollar bills that I want to search. I'm still putting together the uh, series for the different uh, Federal Reserve Banks for each of the different uh, date series on that. And I have uh, a bunch of two dollar bills that I'll be going through. I also picked up some more silver recently. So I'm going to share with you some of that that I've done. And if you watched uh, my last video, I am also a coin collector, so from time to time I'm going to be showing you pieces from my collection that uh, I have been accumulating over the past 30 years or so, so please do stay tuned in. I'm sure that uh, I'm going to produce something here that's going to be something you're going to enjoy watching. And in the meantime, all I can say is happy hunting. Have a great day. This is GD.